Hello and welcome back. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to learn how to convert one class type to another class type. Uh, but this time, we are going to use a operator function or <coughs> conversion function. Right? Uh, so here, I will take a two classes similar to the previous program. Yeah, let's declare a class uh, with uh, centimeter. Uh, centimeter class, uh, I'm going to declare uh, some of the functions for the input and the show. And uh, that would be my second class, that would be meter. And uh, in a meter, I'm going to use that uh, conversion function uh, so that I can convert the meter class uh, object to the uh, centimeter class object. Okay, <coughs> so here, operator is a keyword, fine. So here I want to convert, just like uh, in a previous case, uh, if I use a int, uh, then it is going to convert class type to the basic type and my target basic type is an integer. But uh, using the same mechanism, now here I am not going to use a basic type, I want to convert one class type to the other class type. So here rather than int, I am going to write a cn. So this function will uh, have to return an object that is of a cn uh, okay so here i'm going to use a return keyword that is cm now what i want to do, a return that should be inside this okay so let's uh, uh, take uh, meter um, as a float float uh, let's take a v as a value uh, centimeter let's take it uh, centimeter as an integer again v as a value okay so here i want to return uh, okay cm but uh, with some parameter so value of a v that should be in a meters now i want to convert it to the centimeter so it should be multiplied by 100 so that would be my logic now let's uh, you know give another stuff now I want to display the value of a centimeters afterwards. So in public declaration, I'm going to use void show. Okay, in a show, I'm just simply going to write uh, equivalent centimeter that would be equal to the value of a current object. Okay, so here. Uh, in the public declaration, I want to initialize this. So I am using the input method. In method, I am specifying an in method. So here, let's ask the user uh, to <coughs> sorry uh, to input uh, value in meter. Okay. So let's uh, give some space. So now I'm using a scene and asking the value for the meters. So that would be our two classes. Let's uh, consign those two now to compensate the spaces. Okay, so int name. Okay, in int name that should be return zero. So here I'm going to declare uh, the first object of a meter class M meter object fine and uh, <coughs> with the meter object i am going to tempo dot input so i am initializing the value for the meters now <coughs> i am declaring a centimeter object uh, that will be centimeter object okay so now here <coughs> i want to invoke a uh, centimeter object that is equal to meter object which i initialized over here so here I initialized with the input method. And so here M is assigned to the CO. So now this would not work. Uh, to make this uh, happen, uh, I should declare a constructor over here. Uh, that would be CM. Okay, so here what should I pass? Um, and, uh, so this is going to return me a float. So automatically type casting would be done. Uh, you can also use a float. But uh, eventually, our ta target value is an integer. So here I'm going to take an integer. Uh, let's uh, take int n. I'm using initializer list. Okay, so choose the okay, unit. 
Okay, okay let's go for the simple method. Okay, <coughs> so here my value that is equal to n now. Okay, so now uh, okay, so here <coughs> I have used a parameterized reconstructor, but here it will give me an error that you should also declare a simple constructor so that this can also work. So <coughs> simple constructor, parameterized constructor. Uh, okay, so let's uh, now uh, go for the show co dot show. Okay, so okay now uh, I'm going to input uh, the value for the meter, and I will get a resultant uh, in a centimeters. Let's execute this. Okay, input the value in a meters. So <coughs> in a meters, it is a float. So let's take one point five, and input it is one fifty. So this was the program. Uh, so in which we have convert uh, one class to be another class, uh, converting one class type to another. Class type using conversion function. Fine. Uh, so you can take this code. Uh, the link would be in the description. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will have uh, alerts about my update videos. Thank you.